In 2009, Colorado ranked in the bottom 10 nationally in participation in every single federal nutrition program, and at the same time had the fastest growing rate of child poverty in the nation. It was a very fractured system, and there wasn't a lot of coordination. And so that was the piece of Hunger Free that I think really changed things, was that we could become a center of gravity and create a route for information and collaboration. My second day on the job, I went and met with then Mayor Hickenlooper and then Governor Ritter to talk to them about Indian childhood hunger. We launched the campaign on day 37 of the organization and that was, it was just like riding a rocket ship. This organization has changed dramatically over the last 10 years. In the beginning, we, we were really just getting our feet wet and learning what it was needed in the community. Now we have well over 30 medical systems as well as food pantries referring to our hotline. We are currently in 52 counties because of this partner and subrecipient program that we have and we're expected to do quite a bit more applications as a result of that. Thank you for calling Hunger Free Colorado. This is Nora. How can I help you? I was working one job part-time, about 20 hours a week, and then I was also running my business. But even between the two of them, I wasn't earning enough income to take care of all of the groceries that were needed for my family and I. I hadn't told anybody that I was on food stamps. I hadn't talked about the struggles that I had with hunger and how there were many times where I was very anxious and worried about how I was going to have enough to eat. I was getting sick more often and I do believe that it was because I wasn't eating enough or wasn't getting en enough of the right nutritious kinds of food to eat. I contacted Hunger Free Colorado. They then gave me very specific resources that I could go to and it was the most helpful experience I had ever had in trying to find a place or places where I could go and get food. Over the last 10 years at Hunger Free Colorado, we've made a huge impact, whether that's through Breakfast After the Bell legislation or efforts to promote SNAP or our Food Pantry Assistance Grant. Those accomplishments have been possible because we've worked closely with so many different organizations who cared about this issue and thought that we could make an impact on ending hunger. One of the joyful moments in my life was when I did receive SNAP that all of a sudden I didn't have to worry about buying food in ways that I had before. I didn't have to decide between whether we could get milk or whether we could get lunch meat. Connecting with Hunger Free Colorado had a very positive and lasting impact on my life. The biggest one is knowing that my children have been able to be fed. I want to thank all of you so much who have supported this organization. You are making sure that people are alive. Literally, you are helping people stay alive through the work that you're doing by supporting this organization. So thank you and please continue. Ending Hunger is about making sure that everybody has the nutritious food, they need on a consistent basis to make sure that they can learn, that they can be productive, they can, they can be healthy, they can live their full potential of their lives. And that's why we need to focus on making sure that we solve this problem of hunger for our families, for our seniors, for our kids, for our communities, and for our state. We can control whether or not our neighbors in Colorado have access to food. It's simple, it's not rocket science. With the right resources and the right public will, we can solve this issue, and now is the time to do that. I do not want to have to have a 20th anniversary video because I want us to be able to say, we have done what we set out to do in ending hunger. There's so many other challenges that we can and should be facing in society. Let's solve this problem now. <laughs>